Hello, Adrian. My name is Yvonne, and I'm going to be your tutor for today. How are you doing? I feel great. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I can see that you are working in the marketing department for Evolve Company, right? <laughs> well, it has been my routine to get to know a little bit of my students, like a little research about you before I start the class for better connection. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you ready for the class? Yes, I love it. Just don't worry, okay? I want you to relax, enjoy the class, and just be yourself. And please, please, feel free to ask any questions or if you are in doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for today, we have a very interesting topic. We are going to delve into the crucial topic about value chain optimization. It is about refining your business to, say, to stay ahead of everybody. Now, do you have any initial thoughts before we jump in, Adrian? Mm, I got your point. And I'm so excited to discuss it with you today. So let's start. All right. So the first thing first thing that I want to discuss with you is about understanding the value chain. Now, what is value chain? All right, so value chain is like the roadmap of your business activities. It starts from getting the raw materials up until the time that it is delivered for the final product. It involves both, both core processes like production and the supporting activities like HR and procurement. Now, do you have any thoughts on how this might look in your industry? Mm, exactly. You are already thinking in terms of your value chain. So it's about managing inventory, streamlining sales processes, and optimizing shipping. These are the key components of value chain. What? Streamlining. Thank you for asking the question, Adrian. Streamlining means it's uh, to improve the effectiveness of the organization such as business or government, often by making the way the activities are performed simpler, okay? Not complicated for everybody, but simpler. Sure, sure. Um, let me think. Okay, I've got it. So Amazon uses software to streamline their workflow. Okay, so meaning Amazon uses this software to make their business more effective. My pleasure. Okay, so the next thing that I would like to discuss with you, the second one is finding opportunities for improvement and when we want to make things better of course we use tools right and these tools we can use the value stream mapping it helps identify the bottlenecks and the inefficiencies do you have any thoughts on how this may apply to your work adrian Spot on, Adrian. Identifying those pain points is actually the first step. And then that's the time when technology plays a role of which they try to develop automation to speed up the processes. Mm, that 
Brad Seal Brad Seal. Adrian, I think that you are in a good hands. I think you're in good hands with your company then. Yeah. Okay, so we move on to the third strategy, which is strategies for optimization. Now, strategies for optimization can vary. Okay, we've got lean thinking, outsourcing, integrating technologies. These are some. Okay, though, does any any of these sounds familiar with your e-commerce business? Oh, okay, you mean lean thinking. Okay, so vary means to change in some way or to cause similar things to differ. An example of value uh, an example is the value stocks, okay? The value of stocks may vary from month to month. Example, uh, the stocks from January might vary from the stocks for February, meaning it could be different. Perfect! You are a fast learner, Adrian. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. I like it. I like this class. And uh, last would be the real world examples. Speaking of lean thinking, have you ever noticed why Amazon quickly, quickly delivers your orders to your doorstep? Knock, knock, knock. That, it, that is a perfect um, example of the result of optimization in their logistics. This is a real word example for value chain optimization. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Now let's go to the question and answer. Okay. Do you have any questions so far, Adrian, or thoughts on applying? these strategies in your day-to-day -day work? Mm. Excellent question. I like that. So when it comes to balancing and cost, okay, balancing cost and equality is a constant change. And it's about finding that uh, sweet spot wherein your you're efficient, but not compromising on what makes your product or service great. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Adrian, to wrap it up, what is your key takeaway from our discussion for today for value chain optimization? Okay, you might want to say engine. It's engine. Exactly. Okay, value optimization is about fine tuning. Very well said, Adrian. And remember this, okay? Um, this is a journey of continuous improvement. And I want you to know that you did a very good conversation today. That was really amazing. <laughs> mm. uh, I was really impressed. Uh, now, let me take this few minutes of your time for the corrections, okay? For the vocabulary, I only have two. The first one is streamlining or streamline, and the second one is vary, okay? But... Let me ask you, do you still remember what streamline means? Oh, that's good. You remembered. How about vary? What does it mean? <laughs> cool. Like the stocks. Okay. Nice. Um, Regarding your pronunciation, I also have two minor corrections. The first one is lean or lean thinking. 
Uh, good try. Good try, but not there yet. It's li. Beautiful. And the second one is engine. Okay, cool. Those were the only minor corrections, and you did a very good job. Uh, you are very engaging in class, very conversational. I like the way you shared your experiences, and you really are confident in speaking. Now you might want to read more English books to improve your vocabulary, or maybe watch English movies or English TV series to improve your pronunciation. And last is to have a good conversation with a native speaker. So thank you so much. You're welcome and see you again in my class. Bye-bye.